this is the login screen for Bet Angel. You can see a lot of information up here. But the thing that we're going to focus on here is this area just here. Within this area, you can see you've got live and practice mode, but you also have a connection mode. And if you look in the user guide, you can see a variety of different connection mode. But I'm going to show you two here today, and the two most important ones. What I recommend, however, is that you look at the getting a best connection video and at connection modes uh, so you fully understand how to maximize the best connection to Betfair using Betangel. We put these features, the communication setting inside the tool and the connection mode for your benefit. So if you don't modify them, uh, you won't get the full benefit of all of the capability and features that we've put within the product. But anyway, the connection mode is um, it determines how you connect primarily to Betfair. Um, inside the settings within the product you've actually got an area that allows you to modify the communications and how BetEngine communicates from there but the connection mode is your primary initial connection. The default is set to zero there are many settings that um, you can use in here but when you connect in zero that's in standard full API mode and so on. However if there's a problem with the API then what you should actually do is change that to one and that will connect uh, via non-API mode. And there are quite a few differences between the two because the API delivers stuff like full market depth, last traded price and additional information that you can't get in non-API mode. But, for example, if the Betfair website crashes then having BetAngel set up in connection mode 1 or having a spare copy nearby will allow you to go in and use the site if the API is down or there are problems with the site. My rule of thumb is I always have two versions of BetAngel running, one in connection mode zero, and that is just your standard mode. But I also have one connected in uh, connection mode one, and it's not refreshing. But the idea of that is that if there is a problem with the other version, I can just switch over to that instantaneously and get on with exiting my position and doing all those other things. So basically, the two key modes are connection mode 0 and 1. If you want to learn about the other connection modes that are available, um, have a look in the user guide.